Okay, I do have time for one more, it looks like. Day 79, James 117. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. When a woman was betrayed by the one nearest and dearest to her, her husband, she was devastated, broken, shattered. But in the midst of the shards of pain, God did an amazing thing, which she describes this way. It was as if God lifted off the top of my head and poured in forgiveness, forgiveness that flowed down to my heart and then out to the heart of my husband. It was totally of God and not of me. We have seen example after example of that kind of God given forgiveness in these accounts of our brothers and sisters who experienced unbelievable pain and loss. Some arrived at forgiveness quickly, almost instantaneously, while others reached that point much later. God is kind and individual in his workings with his children. He, above all, knows us better than anyone and knows what each of us needs. While the time frame may vary, our Lord just wants us to move in the right direction, towards forgiveness and away from bitterness. A willingness to forgive doesn't mean that the act of forgiveness removes the agony and ache of the loss. To love deeply means to grieve deeply. Nikati Adian's wife tells it as it is. I suffer a lot. I'm going to suffer until the day I die. Yet she gladly echoes the words of widow Suzanne Giesk when she says of her husband's assassins, I didn't work to try to forgive them. God just gave me a gift. Even in her grief and loss, this woman is thinking of others, those who have come to know the Lord because of her husband's death. I know God showed his love to Turkey, not only on the cross, but by Nikanti's blood. Going deeper. Have you thought about how forgiveness is a gift from God for us to give to others? Or did you think it was something you needed to work up on your own? Enter into the joy of accepting this gift from your father and then gracefully pass it on to the one whom God is leading you to forgive. In giving forgiveness, you will receive the, you will receive the joy of obedience and the gifts of freedom and peace. Lord Jesus, we lift up these dear family members of Tillman, Nikati and Unger. Only you truly know the depth of their sorrow and the consequences they have suffered because of the absence of these husbands and fathers. Comfort them, Lord, and give them your peace. May they be constantly aware of your everlasting arms around and beneath them. Father, your word tells us that every good and perfect gift comes from above, and we know that the gift of forgiveness is a direct gift from you, the perfect one. Thank you for how you shine every time forgiveness is offered, and we give you the glory for doing in us what we cannot do on our own. Help us to be open to every gift from you, but especially help us never to forgo the vital gift of forgiving others. Thank you that in giving forgiveness we gain freedom. We love you, Lord. Amen. All right, so that will do it for um, day uh, 79, and I will see you in the next video. God bless.